Hello everybody, Luke here from The Breakdown. Today I wanted to take a look at these Whirlpool washer and dryers. I got them a few months ago, been using these for quite some time, and been very happy with them. Now I wanted to give you my thoughts on it with my experience. If you're looking for technical specs and more, check out the link in the show notes. But if you're looking for, hey, what's this washer and dryer going to be like when I take it home, I plug it in, and I use it. That's what I'm going to try to show you with this review. Now, a few things before we get started. If you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because uh, it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Also, sorry, the sound's going to be really bad. This room is tile and it's very tiny and it's just not good for recording video in. But we're going to plow through with bad audio and bear with me. All right, so let's take a look at this. A few notes. Washer and dryers here are in white. They also come in a darker color. If you do get the white though, you still do get a darker panels here, darker door on both of them. So keep that in mind. Uh, if that would that two-tone nature would bother you, you can always go with a darker color. Um, I, I'm fine with the white and I like the darker color too. Uh, so I don't think you're gonna go wrong with either one. Now, we went with the Whirlpool over several different brands for a few reasons. One of them was the quality. For instance, minor things like the hinges, feel a lot more sturdy. The tray for the load and go felt very nice. And I will say after using this for a few months, even things just like the door and the tray in here, this is very thick metal screen for the lint trap, feels a lot higher quality than similar price units I've used. Now, can I say I've had other units in my home to say they were as durable? I really can't, uh, but I can say the quality of these units, with it being a metal siding, not plastic, has been very nice. They do have metal siding on the, on the drum here, but plastic on the bottom. But overall, the quality of the device, the feel of the um, doors opening, the feel of the switches, the buttons, and more, two thumbs up, very good quality. Now let's start with the washer here and take a look at it. You do have a nice glass door here. Downsize, it does get hard water stains if you have hard water on the top here. And let's kind of give you an idea of everything that comes with it. It does come with a 10 load, um, load and go system. So you put your HE um, detergent in here and it will hold up to 10 loads worth of a laundry detergent, which is very nice. So you're not constantly replacing it, filling it up every time you do a load. Now it does 10 loads. After seven, it starts flashing you a warning saying, hey, you need to refill it. So keep that in mind. You may get one or two loads, but Really, I don't think I get full 10 load out, loads out of it. I will say though, compared to other ones, this little drawer here feels very high quality. Let me pop this open to show you. You see all the tide in there. It does feel very nice. I was a little worried about this breaking over time. After using it, feel very good about it. It does come with this nifty little spot treat. So you can put spot um, solution in there. I don't have any right now, we cleaned it out. But you can put some um, spot cleaner in there. And then you push down a spray on the garment and you scrub the garment to treat it. Very nice that they have that built in right there. Liquid bleach dispenser, um, softener dispenser, and a water fill bun right here. My one complaint here is the fact that the liquid um, softener doesn't seem to fully drain through when it runs. I get little spots here and build up there. And every now and then I gotta get in there and kind of clean it up so it doesn't clog up. Seems like Whirlpool could have done a better job on this. But we'll say our previous Samsung um, dryer had the exact, or washer had the exact same issue. So that may just be kind of an issue with this type of design overall. Now the drum is absolutely huge. Very nice drum, very convenient to use. Highly, highly recommend it uh, for large loads. Um, it's been very stable, very nice. Now you've got metal sides, plastic on the bottom. I've been told by people in the industry that that plastic on the bottom is where most of the industry is going, even for the more high-end units because they said it actually has fewer issues in the long run. So keep that in mind. Nice reflective top here. Um, let's take a look at the actual um, options here. This is um, a Wi-Fi enabled here. You can have some basic settings for both the dryer and the washer through Wi-Fi. I've honestly not used it. I haven't really come up with time to justify using it because um, all the features just seem like I can set them right here without needing to mess with it. Is there something I'm missing? Let me know. But honestly, the Wi-Fi enabled remote 
just for, to your small phone, just didn't seem worth it. But very nice here, uh, you got the regular wash. Now the guys who hooked up our system said don't use the regular wash. They said this is an okay wash, but it's your environmentally friendly one was his exact words. He said just doesn't do a, as nice of a job as if you say, hey, I got colors, I'm gonna run in colors. I got whites, I'll run in whites, towels, bulky items, delegates. He said those do a more in-depth cleaning. Uh, you know, take that at face value, but that's what the technician said when they came and hooked this up. Of course, so you got you set colors, you can do all kinds of ones. I got it in heavy duty, you can do normal, um, you can do a sanitized mode, cold wash, quick mode, wrinkle control, even more options down here. We can go in here and you can say your favorite cycle. You can just say, hey, I just want to drain and spin something. Um, rinse and spin is want to rinse clothing. I can go in here for a uh, clean washer mode. This is a mode that they say to run every 10 loads or at least once a month um, where they fills up with a little bit of bleach or with a little bit of their own you know, washer solution that they sell you to clean it. And it's supposed to help keep mold and mildew and other smells out of your washer. Um, I usually just throw a little bleach in there, run that load once a month. So it's pretty nice. So let's jump back to, there we go, none. And then you got all kinds of other things. You can adjust the pre-soak. You can select extra rinse in here. Um, if you want that, you can turn on and off pre-soak, how long you want the pre-soak. Tons and tons of options on here. Delay start, as you expect. You can even mess with how dirty it is. You can say, hey, it's heavily sold, extra heavy. It's lightly, I just need a quick wash, normal, more. Temperature, spin speeds, depth of water. You can manually set that or let go all on Mac. And here's one to pay attention to, fabric softener. Now this one right here will allow you to manually go in there and turn on and off the fabric softener. Now be careful if you load fabric softener and you don't have it running, your fabric softener will eventually dry up. So keep that in mind. Overall though, very nice system. Um, very happy with it. Very easy to use controls here, even though some of them are a little hidden or in all their washers, you would have a lot of other buttons and systems on here telling you what to do. This one just has them all um, hidden some for less likely to be used ones like the spin and drain only mode. So keep that in mind, but overall, very nice, very easy to use system. Now let's take a look at the dryer, starting off with the door here. Now this is the only thing that kind of held me back from wanting to get this unit really, was that the door only opens in this way. There's no option for a side open. A lot of the LGs and other brands we saw had an option to either flip it down or flip it to the side, depending on your wishes. This doesn't bother me too much, but I do know people who absolutely hate it. I have family members who are not a fan of the fact that they kind of have to reach over the door because it is a very deep, I'm reaching all the ways in, I'm about six foot tall, and I can't touch the back door there. So keep that in mind that you do um, have a very deep uh, reach here. And sometimes when an item gets way in the back, that door can make it a little harder to reach. It is a steam powered here. You can see the little water sprayer right there. And you can do all kinds of steam options with the cleaning here, which are pretty nice. A very nice sturdy feel on the door and it does run both in electric and gas so you can get whatever version you wish. The other nice thing here is again tons of options. Remote enabled here again. Didn't find a really reason to use it. Tons of controls. Again they told me regular mode will work but it's the very basic minimal wash there. He said this is the mode they use when they turn it into the government to get their energy star and other ratings. But he recommended, hey, if you're doing colors, select colors, you're doing whites, select whites, bulk items, towels, delicates, and more. That gives you more direct control over the actual drying. It is a sensor dry, it will go in there and tell you um, exactly, uh, detect the amount of moisture that's in the unit and run in theory only until it no longer needs to be run. So let's kind of take a look at it. So I'm in colors, you can get sanitized with steam in here. You can get time dry where you say, I don't want to mess with the sensor. I just want to manually set that, which is pretty cool. Normal wrinkle control, heavy duty, quick. Now they do have a lot of cool features, starting off with wrinkle shield, which is a nice one where after your dryer is done, if you don't get right back to it, it will continue to run every so often to prevent wrinkles from forming. 
You can remove time, add time, eco boost. Let's go into the other settings. You can select your favorite cycle here, and that's about it. So if you have a favorite you always do, you can program it that way. Um, you can control your different steam options, stack reduced, stack um, steam and reduced stack, and other options in here if you are looking to use steam with it. So, and then you have Steam Refresh, where you can throw a garment in there and help get it cleaned up and refreshed without the smells using Steam. You can mess with your temp in here, of course, high, low, medium, medium high, and high. Um, drum light, you can mess with that, turn it on and off, and other basic sets here. Now, overall, again, not all the options may be as apparent on some washers. Some will have a more complicated user interface. I do like the clean, crisp look of this where you can set your basic controls and then mess with the additional settings down below. Um, so overall, I would say I recommend these. Now, any negatives? There's just one. And even though these are very well built metal, when I'm up here and I'm leaning in to get something, this really gives way. I'm not sure if that's something I should be concerned about in the long run. After months of using it, it hasn't really been an issue. I am concerned though that when I lean in to grab something and I've kind of put pressure on this, it seems to give a lot and creak and groan, which worries me it may break over time. But overall, that hasn't been a problem. The features are easy to use. It does a good job of both cleaning and drying my clothes. Now, if you use the right settings, if you put a ton of very bulky items, you run out regular, don't be surprised if it doesn't dry your items. Uh, for instance, a massive load of towels, but using the bulky items on one did seem to always dry my towels correctly, for example. So just keep that in mind. The days of just turning your dryer on and plug and turning it to run and then having to dry everything are kind of gone. But as the installer said, that's actually a good thing. You know, these dryers won't over dry your clothes, which will help prevent shrinking of delicate items and even just everyday clothes that will shrink from over use of extreme heat in the dryer. Washer, very similar. Very happy with the cleaning mode on it. The, both the whites, colors, bulky items, delicates, towels, all seem to work great on the settings. They do a good job washing it. I've never had an opportunity where I said, man, I got to rerun this because it doesn't seem like it got cleaned. As long as you don't overstuff it, you should be fine. So overall, two thumbs up. Really like these units. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll put a link to them down in the show notes down below. If you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it.